that was the first time I saw her. But before we talk about her, I have to tell you something about me. When I was nine, we moved to Micah, Arizona. As the new kid, I became the center of attention real fast. And not in a good way. It was then that I realized I was going to need to disappear. No one would see me. No one would hear me. I was going to have to be just like everybody else. And then, one day... When some loud bragger tries to put me down... What's her name anyway? Stargirl. My name is Stargirl. So be true to your school You should talk to her. She likes you. She doesn't. You like Stargirl. I don't really know her. But maybe if you did, you might. Won't you let me walk you home from school? Mom, were you ever afraid of what people thought of you? Figuring out who we are is the one thing no one else can do for us. Won't you let me meet you at the pool? Did you want to ask me something? If it's so, well, let me know. Sometimes I'm quiet, but I'm just thinking. Scream, Leo. Why would I do that? Don't you want the universe to hear you? Since she got here, Things have been different. For some people, are just like that. Being with you is the most anyone has ever looked at me in my entire life. There's just something about her. She's not like anyone else. <laughs> is she magic? You think things have to be real, more magic. But the best things... Hey guys, it's Lisa here with a really cool list of three of the best classic movies to watch as a family. First up, The Sound of Music. Now, who could forget the Tinging Von Trapp family? Next up, Charlotte's Web, based on E.B. White's book, a classic about a spring pig named Wilbur who befriends a spider named Charlotte. And to close it out, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the one from 1964 with Gene Wilder, not the one with Johnny Depp. What's your favourite classic family movie? Let me know below. And remember to click down here to subscribe.